Hey y'all, Jim Panky here to answer the age old question, just what the heck are potatoes? Well, we all know what potatoes are. You just, you just saw some potatoes, but that's not what we're talking about. What I'm talking about is this. <laughs> See, I know you've heard that. And, and we use potatoes to kick off a song. But why? Well, a couple of reasons. Primarily, it sets a tempo. We know how fast the song is going to go when, when, somebody, when somebody starts with potatoes. We, we, we just, we can tell. Now we've got the rhythm going. And, and nobody necessarily has to count. Some, sometimes people will count, and then you'll know when the potatoes are going to start. But that's, that's totally up to you is how you want to do your potatoes. Uh, another reason for potatoes is it gives folks a chance to be ready. And it's a clue as to when they're supposed to start playing. Because usually one person will start the potatoes, whether it's on a fiddle or whether it's on the banjo or mandolin, whatever. And then everybody kind of knows when to come in, especially if you know how many potatoes you're going to get. So each little iteration of that does that. So, for instance, we could do, that's one potato. That's four potatoes. So you could say, hey, give me four potatoes. And the fiddler would do four potatoes and y'all would know the, where to kick into the tune. And that's what that's what potatoes are. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to do some potatoes. And I'll include a tab. Uh, I'll find a place to put it so y'all can get to it. It'd probably just be a JPEG. And y'all can just download it and figure it out. So potatoes. Now you know. And it's, it's not hard. It's not complicated. It's not some great secret. And you might encounter folks that don't really refer to them as potatoes, but I think for the most part, as you get out and jamming and meeting other folks, you're you're gonna hear you're gonna hear that phrase, and that's uh, it's just part of the old bluegrass thing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you some potatoes and get, show you a couple of places where you can use them. All right. A simple potato would be this. All I'm doing is it's four, three, one, five, three, pinch. So it's a forward roll and a three pinch. And then I'm just doing a slide from four to five on the fourth string. And so if you wanted four potatoes, your four. So another way of doing it, instead of doing the pinch, you could do a 5-1 thumb index, and it's going to sound something like...
could even mix them up. Your choice, your choice. You could even do That makes sense. Don't complicate it. Don't complicate it. So where do I use them? Here, a couple of tunes, and and I teach these out on my channel. Old Joe Clark, Blackberry Blossom, Devil's Dream. Those are three that you could use. You could do. Clark or Blackberry Blossom. Devil's Dream. So you can use potatoes to kick those off. It's, it's, it's simple. I know I've said simple a lot in a lot of my other videos, but honestly, if it wasn't simple, I wouldn't be able to do it. So there you go, some potatoes. You understand? You got it? All right, I hope so. Thanks for watching, y'all. See you next time. Hey, y'all, if you like this sort of content, be sure to leave a comment, and maybe hit the like button. If you want to, which would help me, might even help you because it's free. You could subscribe to this channel. And if you want to get notifications when I post new stuff, be sure to uh, ring that bell. Thanks. One, two, one, two, three. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Oh, that's probably really good.